What's up, everyone, and good morning. Uh, John here, and welcome to today's Webflow Jam session. Um, so today might be the last Jam session around this header. Uh, we shall see. Um, but I'm thinking the last thing we're going to do today is add a larger breakpoint, and then I can look at maybe some things that uh, could have been done to to maybe make this uh, site a bit more dynamic. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me start my timer. Uh, there's not much to review. Actually, there is one uh, thing to review, and it's these three dots here in the slider. Um, I haven't removed those yet, so let's go ahead and remove those. So I'll just go into the slider here, and for the slide nav, I'll set the display setting to none. All right, so that's been there for a while. Probably should have been removed a while ago, but um, yeah, we just removed that there. So let me go ahead and start my timer. We're just going to add a larger breakpoint, which is a fairly new feature in Webflow um, that allows us to um, add a larger yeah, breakpoint um, for the site. So my five minutes has started. Um, so I'll go ahead and preview the site. And we, this is what it looks like on a 27 inch iMac. So you can see everything is really small. Um, so let's go ahead and change that. So within Webflow, we can click on these three dots and I'm going to add a 920 breakpoint here. So I'll click. And actually, before I do that, right now I have the browser zoomed in because <clears throat> I'm not on a 4K monitor. So I have it zoomed in. And our resolution is 1411, or the width of the screen is 1411. And this is what it looks like, uh, which I think is pretty good. That's kind of like a regular laptop. Um, so here I'll add a 1920 breakpoint. Click Create. And then for this, I'll go ahead and set the zoom scale to, um, or let's set the width to 2560. And this is what it would look like, or this is actually what it looks like here um, on this 2560 screen. Uh, so as you can see, everything's really small. So let's just go in and just adjust the text. So it's just gonna be some simple text adjustments. So here for the font size, I'm gonna set it to 14 for the nav items. Uh, then for this text right here, rather than 10, let's set it to 14 as well and maybe some line height of 16. Uh, this, rather than 10, we'll set it to 14. And this right here, we'll set it to, let's do let's do 18 for that. And then this right here, um, let's do 22. And for this text here, let's do 16. Yeah, let's do 16 and maybe a little bit more line height, 22. Uh, for this, let's do 16 as well, and that looks okay. Um, I'll leave the BO Play logo like that. For the headphones logo, let's make this a bit bigger, maybe 14. Um, this right here, let's change this to 16. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we could make this logo, I guess, a bit bigger, maybe 60. 60, and yeah, let's give a little more line height there. Nice. And then this H4, that looks good. This H4, I think I might bold it actually, even for, um, no, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's make it medium, and I'll do the same for the desktop version. Let's make it medium uh, there. And I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller here, maybe 18, cool. And not so much position from the left. Nice and cool. So let me see here, that looks good. All right, nice. So we just adjusted the H4 there a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, this is how it would look on 1920, so everything's a little bit bigger. But yeah, once we get to 2560, um, everything's just a little bit more readable. Uh, this could probably be a bit bigger too, maybe. Uh, no, we'll do, we'll do 14, um, just to give it kind of that smaller text there. Um, look and then for these arrows I noticed that I gave it a specific height um, it actually doesn't need a height the height can be auto uh, for these arrows um, let's do auto and make them smaller so 10 yeah there we go because uh, these arrows are not perfectly square cool so we have that let me do it on the on the desktop version actually or actually yeah let me make these a bit smaller 
8 and 8. Cool. All right, so I think that's it. Um, I still have like a minute left. We just added a larger breakpoint. So now when I go ahead and publish, it'll look good on a 27 inch iMac. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for this build, uh, the BioPlay build. Um, so as we can see on the 27 inch iMac, it looks much, much better. The text is larger. Um, this text was always already a good size to begin with. Um, and yeah, looks good. So I think that's it for the BioPlay build. Uh, we did make it responsive for uh, tablet, as we can see, um, mobile landscape, and uh, mobile portrait. And we have the nice mobile menu and looks good. And we have e-commerce on each one. So for this one, yeah, I'd have to set the e-commerce to be, let's go ahead and fix that real quick. So we can see it's going behind. So also just set the, uh, the cart button or the cart, just give it a really high Z index of like uh, 199. I think that should bring it in front. No. All right, let's see. So what Z index does this have? a hundred and yeah we, we might have to play with that so that this has uh, a lower z index um but yeah i can probably get into that in another jam session um so cart yeah i don't think even giving this a higher z index will make it go in front of the headphones because the headphones is absolutely positioned so we'd have to kind of mess with that what we could do actually just got an idea so it is transparent, so for this, um, I could just set the Z index back to like two. And that should that should work. Yeah, so now it's in front, uh, but you won't be able to click on the headphones. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of something to play with there. Um, but yeah, it's not, not a kind of huge thing, just a design element. If you want to have headphones clickable, which I presume you'd want to, to have the user go back to the home page if there was a home page. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for the BioPlay build. Um, I had a lot of fun building it. Um, again, it was inspired off uh, Jiraj Massar's um, design here. Um, so his dri dribble page is here, Jiraj Massar. Um, and yeah, I'll be building a few more um, headers. And yeah, so yeah, I'll be thinking about the next jam session. And yeah, let me just quickly review this a bit more. Yeah, we added the larger breakpoint today. Um, yeah, and it's fully responsive. The other things that we could have done um, is placed a collection list in here and made each of these panels um, clickable and have them go to a different page. So I could have created a, a new CMS collection. Of, yeah, we could say blog posts. It wouldn't be blog posts. It would be like a separate page uh, for each, you know, sound, wireless. We could go here, sound, wireless, battery, design and materials. We could create a separate page with more detail um, about each panel. Uh, but I'm not going to cover that too much in this tutorial. Let me know if you do want me to cover that and I can do another uh, quick five minute jam session around that. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, uh, this one's done and I've probably ran ran on a little bit with that. Uh, but yeah, let me know um, what you think of these jam sessions, um, what you'd like to see more of in these jam sessions. Um, I really enjoy building in Webflow and I think it's really great to showcase how quickly something like this can be built in Webflow. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's it for today's jam session. I'll go ahead and go to the templates. So if you want to get started quickly with Webflow, I do have quite a bit of templates in the Web Dev for You shop here. Um, yeah, and if you're watching this video, you can get 20% off any template with the discount code in the description area below. It's WFY-YouTube, and you can get 20% off any of the templates here. All right, so that is, that is it for the BioPlay jam session. Uh, it was 14 videos in total. There is a playlist where you can watch all the videos from beginning to end. And yeah, I'll see you in the next jam session.